Hello, I'm Candace from the LCISD Special Education Department, here to talk with you about Moving with Math Foundations. So what is Foundations? Well, Moving with Math Foundations is a topic-focused, standards-based curriculum designed to build critical math concepts in three important ways. First, by employing a standards-based assessment and learning system, by using conceptually-based instruction, and by delivering proven results using research-based instructional strategies. Moving with Math has multiple grade levels, and we have multiple programs available on your campus as well. If you work in an elementary campus, you probably have Foundations A, which is for grades one through two, and Foundations B for grades three through four. On our secondary campus, we have Foundations for Algebra IM, which is for grades five through six, and foundations for Algebra MH for grades seven through eight. Inside your kit, it comes with multiple features like the teacher manuals, student activity books, and a manipulative kit. So let's take a look at the organization of the materials. First, you'll wanna look at your 30 lesson pacing calendar, which helps teachers keep students on task and keep the class on schedule. Right here, you'll find in your teacher manual is your lesson pacing calendar. You'll notice it shows you the daily review that should be completed with the lesson, the objective for the day, all of the materials you need, your lesson plan, which will be located inside your teacher manual, and the pages that will follow it in the student workbook that the kids will complete independently. It also shows you some other activities that go along with that lesson as well. It also comes with an assessment in your teacher manual, which is a formative pretest and a summative post-test for each student workbook. You also will wanna take a look at the student progress report with the objectives. And here's a sample of that right here. What you'll notice about this is that it has all of the objectives listed and which questions that those objectives go with. It also allows you to make note if the student was successful or unsuccessful with those pretests answers. And from there, that lets you know where exactly in the workbook you'll need to start with your students. It also lets you know if there's areas that you might need to reteach or go ahead and extend that skill because they need more practice. It also comes with daily reviews and weekly checkpoints, which are located in the back of the student workbook. As you see here, here's a sample of the daily reviews, and these can be done as a warm-up every day. So you have four daily reviews, and then at the end of the week, you have a checkpoint. The checkpoint is about 10 questions, and it's a great way for you to get a grade because all of the daily reviews are spiral activities. And so your checkpoint is an overview of all of the daily reviews that the students have completed that week. So this is a great tool you can use for a grade. It also comes with a lightly scripted, manipulative-based lesson plan, which includes an objective, materials, vocabulary, and directions for the student page. So let's take a look at a lesson plan. As you see, it shows you the introductory activities. These are all of the hands-on activities that you'll do with the students before they actually jump into those independent student workbooks. It also has bolded text, and all of your bolded text that you see on the lesson plan is your teacher's script. It also has an about this page section, and in that area, you'll find your directions and guidelines for the student workbook. That way the students can complete that activity independently. And although you may not have time to complete all of the components with your Moving With Math, it does come with some follow activities like math games and skill builders, which are great things to use for reteach homework or additional independent practice. Now, ideally, Moving With Math is great for the resource classroom, but if you would like to use it in an inclusive setting, it can be used that way as well. But you will need the TEKS correlations for Moving With Math, and your special education instructional facilitator can give that to you. We're here to help, so if you're ready to get started, let's start Moving With Math.